Hello and welcome. My name is Joe and I am the Panicked Monk and you are watching Inaroth. Inaroth is coming into Whiterun after her delivery in Kynes Grove or to a farm just outside of Kynes Grove. Uh, she has very much decided that the courier's life is not for her. The pay is not great. The work is very difficult, and it is best left to others, such as the little red-haired fellow. Uh, so she will probably be taking on no more uh, errand runs from the Mrs. Boards, unless it's something like collecting ore, for example, uh, which she does need to do. But as far as delivering packages and and the like, no, that's that's not for her. She is going to stick to uh, other means of making coin, whether it be mercenary work or potions work, that kind of thing, uh, or just helping the uh, citizens of Skyrim by eliminating bandits. But she is at White Run now. She has made her way back and is going to sell some things before heading back towards the Nightgate Inn and the Great Lift of Alftand so that she can go view the progress that has been made, hopefully has been made, in Blackreach. And that is where we pick up. Right now it is extremely late. Uh, her Travels have brought her into White Run at a very early hour in the morning. So she is going to hurry up. Grab a bite to eat. No, no, she's not going to grab a bite to eat. She is actually going to grab a bed to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully there's room at the inn. And that the innkeeper is still available at this early hour. After which, she is going to go and pawn off some goods. Should have put your cloak on, my dear. It's cold out. So, Inaroth is very much looking forward to seeing what Mr. Gek and his crew have done in Blackreach. She hasn't heard from him yet, so that's a little concerning. Welcome. Be careful. Let me know if you want anything. I don't have I think to I take that from you. Let's take this... Uh, Hood of not the Kirish. Somewhere? Nah, I don't think so. Huh? All right. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friend of yours to win a stab? Luck by a smear. You would pay for that? There's some hole. Help! I'm getting out of here. Does this happen often? What? Oh my. Our money is on the big one. No more. I yield. I yield. You think you can take me? Where are the guards? Hey, what you doing? Not like you on this. it. Kill him. Star. All right. Victory Don't is yours. Me. I sure. submit. Holy cow, it's one thing when they just start fisticuffs, but this is a local I'm favorite gonna kill you. one of the first songs yeah. I ever heard. These guys are actually pulling out weapons. Victory is yours. I submit. Oh. God, I hate this tavern. Excuse me, Holda. Good to see you again. Do you have a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. 
Yes? Uh, don't worry. I think I can find it. I understand. So... A staff. <sighs> you know... If you're here in the morning, we'll talk. <sighs> I've been gone and up for far too long. Make it quick. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, the this rudest people. Staunch protectors. The Imperials. We drink to our youth. Alright, let's get our uh, sleeping clothes on. Take off the boots. Oh, that feels good. And the bracers. Amulet. And where, oh where? Where, oh where, oh where? Are our clothes? I just want... Wrong way. There we go. I just want to... There we go. Dims be our sleeping clothes. Alright. Oh, man. Let's get into bed. And, uh... Maybe we'll talk to Sam. All right, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take five hours. It's a little bit of a late morning, but she has been up pretty much all day. Like, almost 24 hours between the traveling to Kynes Grove and uh, dropping out things off and then coming back. Uh, she probably probably made a poor decision coming back at such a late hour, but she really did not want to stay around Kynes Grove with the howl of a dragon echoing in the near distance. Let's, uh... Get geared up. Won't need the hood, not in town. Exquisite bracers. Hmm. These seem to fit. They look a little clunky with the uh, outfit. Let's just look better. Thirteen and eleven. It's only a two-point difference. We're gonna stick with the the vampire boots. They just seem to fit a little better. The uh, red guard boots. Well, you know, they were the right size, but just didn't quite fit. All right. Oh, one other thing. But our our hopes and our dreams. Thank you, my dear. I've got errands to run if you'll be around for a bit longer. If you're you can talk looking about for this challenge, staff. You've come to the right place. Yeah. Not sure if I'm looking for a challenge.
Ugh. All right. Okay. I think we're gonna go to Adriana first. Well met, traveler. Well met. See if we got anything here we can uh, unload. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. You do, however. What do you think of Blades, these? Helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Hmm. No. Not her style. I don't need the bolts. Do you need the axe and the pickaxe? That's kind of flashy. Is Eneroth a flashy gal? She kind of is. Yeah, that one feels better in her hand. She's going to keep the composite. Alrighty. Now. We are definitely getting rid of that thing. We tried that one on. Ew. Get rid of that. And that. And that. And. That. Yes. Yes. Nordic. A, how would you say that? A Ketten? A Keaton? It's, uh, it looks soft. <laughs> Which may not be great for an armor, but uh, I don't know. Padded armor seems to have always done done as advertised I guess let's see definitely not going to be as good as ours Nordic Gambeson another padded variant it looks like are better than ours. I wonder how much it would cost to have her upgrade these boots. Uh, definitely not. I don't see Eneroth wearing a, uh, <laughs> a Nordic helm, not to mention it's heavy armor. Gauntlets? Kinda nasty looking. I wonder what they would improve to. Um... I don't know if she has this enchantment. I don't recall if uh, Inroth has been to an enchanting station since she picked these up. I, I almost... Yeah, we're going to sell them. I'm going to say she has. I want to see what... These are definitely more sturdy for the road. But, I mean, steel toe... Yeah, we'll get rid of the ranger boots. I'm going to say we will see what... Oh, then I'm going to be slapping around in my bare feet. Shoot, I shouldn't have gotten rid of those yet. Uh, I'm going to see what it's going to cost or if she can maybe amp these things up for me. All right. 
I think that's all. I... Let's see, can you upgrade my equipment? It would seem so. Uh, just my armor. I understand. Okay, she can't do any of the vampire. Oh, she needs dark leather. She probably doesn't have that. Um, all right. We can at least do the hood. Collect soul gems. Why do I got that? Ah. Uh, Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. An elder is not enough to be afraid of, child. But there are other reasons. You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rent. They, can <sighs> they do. I am, but I have things to do. Today, they take away Where am I going? But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your do I have... Any soul gems? Okay, I need common soul gems, which I have not. I have not. Uh, I want to go see what Bellathor has. Welcome to Bellathor's general goods. Welcome indeed. Thank you. Everything's for sale, my... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see here. I should really look at some of these. Oh, could you throw these away for me, please? Thank you so much. Keep that one. Oh, that's got some nostalgia to it. I should look at these. Oh, this note from Hulda. She said a courier stopped by while I was sleeping. I'll have to look at that. Ah, uh, let's see. What can I give you today. I don't think I'll be needing these for any time soon. Well, I might as well sell them. He's not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to have them upgraded anytime soon. Keep that. All right, very well, very well. I pick up any potions I can get rid of. something and cook it up though. 
I'm getting low on provisions. What do you have that's already cooked? Doesn't cost a fortune. Take their wine. Uh, I will take. A couple carrots. We have nothing cooked. Apples are always good for the road. Very well. Do come back. When you have something to offer, like some cooked meat, perhaps? Well, I'm sure it's not cooked, but it's worth asking. Finest cuts, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Trinkets. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Dog meat. Well, maybe one of those and a chicken breast. I'll have to find somewhere to cook it up myself. Good hunting. Yes. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Very well. Chops and steaks fit for uh. a Jarl. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. Let's go find a quiet place. This seems to work. The Drunken Huntsman. Oh, that Sam fellow. I was going to ask him about this staff. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I will do that, thank you. This letter, 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 letter. Progress. <clears throat> Lady Eneroth, I hope this letter finds you well. As promised, I have gathered a handful of workers for your project. We have made great progress over the past few weeks, and I think you will be quite happy with the results. I wanted to thank you for your continued investment. The septums and gems you have sent has allowed me to hire the right people, including several miners. Anga's mill, being nearby, has certainly helped too. I look forward to your return. Gek. Well, that's encouraging. Very much so. If you have well, it seems supplies, then you've come to the right place. I do not, thank you. It seems that uh, I have a decision to make. Oh, may I use your spit? We sell well, bows, least, uh, arrows, and ale—a unique combination, to be sure. Less so than you might think. I have a question. I have a dilemma to ask myself. Well, I have a question to ask myself of a dilemma on which I have. Do I go and pursue this curious man with a question of interesting staff? Or... Do I quickly make my way back to... The deep I'll be sure to, bring some back to see what Mr. Gak has to offer. <sighs> but I wonder how long this is going to take. At least the day. Let's go talk to this fellow. Tired of bread and stew? Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold Ah, uh, good. You're here. Oh, there once...
No, 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 no. Damn. A hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorik's stead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles in gold he had made. But then he went quiet. Sadia, wake up here. When he met the shield yes, maiden Matilda, who said, Mr. Sam, was it? And you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and What is it that you so have in mind? Steel, as the brave last Matilda charged in full of sea. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. I'm not really looking for a challenge, but you did mention something about a, a staff. What uh, contest, what kind of challenge did you have in mind for this staff? The drinking contest. Oh, I don't know. Well. Ha! We'll tell me see more. about that. This is a special very strong stuff. Let's get started. You want a drink? I'll start <laughs> round no more questions. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh, Sadia, that was perfect timing. Um, no, I, I don't want to drink right at the moment. I, I seem to have one. All right. Oh, this was a bad idea, my dear, but here we go. One down, my friend, one down. And another one for me. <clears throat> and how about you? This is actually quite delicious. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I think another would be easy enough. So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Just one more? Ha! <laughs> That's no problem. Wow, you've really done it. The staff is yours. Grape! <sighs> what? What was that? What? Okay. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Oh, hey, you don't look not, so good. Not right now. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Ugh. Please, keep it down. Yes, your head hurts, and you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Uh... No. I don't. I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, I'd love to help you figure it out, but I'm so busy cleaning up the mess you made of our temple. Now, if you were to help tidy up and perhaps apologize afterwards, I might be able to help you. Very well. Oh, gods. What have I gotten myself into?